this is our video number 28 in this video we will see the comparison among the three simple tenses in the last lecture we have discussed separately the simple tenses in this part first we will see the comparison among the simple tenses the simple tenses are yes the simple present tense the simple past tense and the simple future tense to compare among these three we should see at first their structures so the first structure of the simple present tense is simple positive and the structure of the simple past is simple positive and the structure of the simple future tense is simple positive the structures are subject plus mv plus o plus c plus full stop subject plus mv plus o plus c plus full stop this is the structure of the simple present tense means in the beginning we should take the subject then we should take the main verb then we should take the object that object may be direct or indirect then we should take the complement complement means the helping words the extra words the additional words which help the sentence to complete to make the complete meaning the second structure of the simple past tense is means that is also the first structure subject plus past verb plus object plus complement plus full stop the structure of the simple future tense is subject plus future verb plus object plus complement plus full stop these are the three simple structures of uh, these simple tenses when we discuss about the simple present tense the verb is the main verb that is do does work works such type of main verb comes there when we think of the simple past tense the verb is only past tense that is did worked like that entered means the verb is main verb plus ed suffix that is the past verb in the simple past tense and when we discuss about the simple future tense the verb is shall plus main verb will plus main verb it means will go will do shall go shall do like this means always shall and will plus main verb will be the verb of the simple future tense and in this way these structures we have seen now we will see the comparison with among these three tenses so at first i will take one example the example is i do my homework every day i do my homework every day this is the sentence in the simple present tense i do my homework every day means here i is the subject do is the main verb my homework is the object and every day is the complement or helping word when we goes into the simple past tense this sentence becomes i did my homework every day only the difference is of the words in the simple present tense the verb is do and in the simple 
past tense the verb is did suppose i work i worked i went i go i went she goes she went like this this is the difference between their structures the other other parts are similar means subject is similar object is similar complement is similar uh, full stop is similar but the uh, verbs are different now we will compare this structure with the simple future tense i do my homework every day this structure will go into the simple future tense and it will become i will do i shall do my homework every day means what is the difference there is the difference of the main verb only or is the difference of the verbs only so the verb here we can will do shall do means when we speak or write the simple future tense the verb comes as the as the uh, shall do will do means shall and will plus main verb Uh, we take when we prepare the uh, sentence of the simple future tense <clears throat> there are the subjects uh, first person second person third person like this there are the persons or subjects for example in the simple present tense when the subjects are he see it remember when the subjects are he she it he she it means what he means the female suppose ragini suppose mohini suppose uh, helen he he she it now he kishore william shakespeare shelley okay it it means table chair pot or we can say bottle like this means if the subject is he see it uh when there is the subject he see it we should take yes or es suffix to the main verb when we take the main verb in the simple uh, present tense we should add yes or es suffix to the main verb why because it is the rule of the simple present tense and that's why we should use their yes or es suffix when we use yes or es suffix when the verbs have means when the end of the uh, sorry when at the end of the main verb there is x y z o e s h c h y like this letters are there then we uh, add the yes or es suffix to them so my point is that if at the end of the main verbs there is there are x y z o uh, then s h c h like this letters Uh, appear there, then we can use es suffix. For example, es suffix, and at that time the subjects should be he see it. For example, uh, she goes. She goes there. Now here is the verb go, and at the end of the verb go there is o, and that's why we have added es suffix to this go. and that's why she goes he goes it goes this happens x if there is the x letter at the end of the verb then we attach es suffix for example she relaxes relaxes or relaxes she relaxes she relaxes he relaxes he relaxes or it relaxes like this if there is the letter y at the end of the main verb then we say 
uh, we make y y is turned into ies y is turned into ies for example mary mary m a double r y mary mary will be marries mary will be marries means m a double r i e s so uh, example will be he marries her she marries him it marries there is uh, there is no it marries but actually we are this is our imagination and that's why we are talking such sentences so when we speak in the simple present tense we add es or es suffix to the main verbs but the subject should be he see it and at the end of the main verbs there should be x y z o sh ch like this letters should be there at the end of the main verb then we use es suffix and if the subject is he see it and at the end of the main verbs there is no x y z o sh ch y if such letters are not there but the subjects are he she it then we use only yes suffix to the main verb we use only yes suffix to the main verb means we add yes suffix to the main verb for example <coughs> she plays p l a y plays now here we will use only yes suffix we will not use here es suffix why because this y is single and in this marry or miss carry <coughs> there is double r y and that's why we do uh, we do there uh, ies means y changes into ies so what is our point our point is that if the subjects are he see it and at the end of the main words there is no such type of letters which letters x y z o s h c s like this if such letters have not come there at the end of the verbs then we add only yes suffix so but the subject should be he see it how see he plays she uh, we will say enters now play there is no such um, letters there then enters e n t e r only r is there that's why we will use es suffix there we will not use their es suffix then uh, there is one uh, we we will say uh, experience e x experiences experiences e x p e r i e n c -E. so there is no such type of uh, letters which we have discussed so we will say uh, we will say she experiences he experiences uh, all experience uh, sorry uh, next rule we will see again third rule is there about this simple present tense if the subjects of the sentence are i you we they boys girls policemen people persons means if the subjects are like this buildings building if the subject is building it will go into it but buildings gardens i we you they if such type of verbs or if the verb is about these uh, verbs or out of these verbs then we will take no suffix there means they will not be taken yes or es means what is the rule now if the subjects are i we you they boys girls tables chairs if such type of uh, subjects are there then there is no need of taking yes or es suffix to the simple present tense verb so we will see some examples i play 
वी प्ले यू प्ले दे प्ले बॉइस प्ले गर्ल्स प्ले पोलिस मैन प्ले बिल्डिंग्स प्ले बिल्डिंग्स प्ले दैट इज नॉट द इमेजिनेशन इज देयर सो बिल्डिंग्स प्ले वेन टाइम कम्स बिल्डिंग्स ऑल्सो विल प्ले सो बिल्डिंग्स प्ले सो इफ द सब्जेक्ट्स आर आई वी यू दे इट मीन्स इफ द सब्जेक्ट्स आर अदर देन ही सी इट If the subjects are not he see it, other than he see it, means living he see it. If subjects are different, means I, we, you, they, boys, like this. If subjects are there, then we do not use yes or yes suffix. These are the rules of the simple present tense. Without these rules, we cannot prepare the. examples of the simple present tense when we discuss about the simple past tense then there is no any kind of effect on the simple past tense if the subject is i we you they he she it boys girls any type of subject may be there if there is any kind of subject uh, the simple past tense takes only one verb and that is the past verb means there is no any kind of effect on this simple past tense so we will say i did we did you did they did boys did everybody did uh, <coughs> helen did william shakespeare did like this we speak means i worked we worked you worked they worked police men worked everybody worked means we will uh, <coughs> speak like this means we will not take yes or es suffix to the simple past tense verb only we will take ed means we will take their ed uh, to the main verb or we will take the regular verb what is regular verb regular verb means the verb which takes only ed suffix to it that is called the regular verb and irregular verb means the verbs which do not take ed suffix with uh, them or with it that is called the irregular for example uh, <coughs> uh, read 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 when we uh, see these uh, uh, three verbs uh, their spellings are same but the pronunciations are different so the the uh, read means r e d read that is the simple past so this is the irregular verb shut 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 cut 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 put 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 means these are the verbs which do not accept the ed subject subject uh, sorry ed suffix and that's why they are called the irregular uh, verbs and regular verbs means what the verbs which accept the ed suffix for example work worked enter entered talk talked like this so when we uh, compare this simple past tense with the uh, simple present tense then we will say that uh, this uh, simple past tense does not uh, accept the uh, rules of the simple present tense it is not like the simple present tense it is his it is its own it is its own and it takes only the uh, past verb with it so we discuss now we will discuss about the simple future tense what is about this simple future tense always this simple future tense takes with it the verb uh, that is uh, will plus main verb or shall will shall uh, plus main verb means always Uh, shall plus main verb will plus main verb means shall go ha huh? will go shall play will play like this this uh, simple future tense uh, takes with it the verb but the subjects are i we you they he she it so the subjects remember if the subjects are i and we if the subjects are i and we 
the simple present take, uh, tense takes shall means the sentence become uh, I shall go we shall go like this and if the subject is you this simple present tense text uh, you will go you will go you will go you will play you will do if the subject is they again this simple future tense take will means they will play they will do they will go like this and if uh, plural subjects are there suppose boys boys will play girls will play like this i and you will play means if the subjects are plural then this uh, simple future tense takes the will main uh, will helping verb adeka main verb okay then if the if the subjects are he seed then this simple uh, future tense take will uh, suppose i will play uh, sorry uh, uh, he will play she will play it will play like this means this happens but if uh, uh, for example i will tell i will tell you that if the subject wants to say indefinitely if the subject wants to speak or indefinitely then uh, the 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 i will say the helping verb is used how we can see for example i we if we say i shall play that will be indefinite i shall play means if uh, i shall play means there is no guarantee uh, that i will play we shall play means there is no guarantee that the we will that we will play but when we will say i will play we will play then there is the guarantee uh, that there is the guarantee uh, that is the definite simple uh, future tense if the subjects are he she it if the subjects are he she it uh, we will, if we if we say he will go she will go it will go that is indefinite and when we will say he shall go she shall go it shall go that is the definite simple present tense and about they they means they will play that is indefinite and they shall play that is definite future tense definite means exact means he will do means he will not forget or anyone not forget that is the uh, definite uh, future tense so here uh, we have seen the comparison uh, in this uh, part first of these three simple tenses uh, thank you very much stay safe stay safe be remain at home don't go outside of the houses because corona is there outside thank you thank you very much